IT organizations are under considerable pressure to keep applications and services running no matter what. As such, a robust business continuity and disaster recovery solution is an essential component of any modern data center. The dual region model of the VMware validated design for software-defined data center extends the SDDC across geography, protecting against catastrophic events and ensuring uptime and availability. VMware validated designs are built on the concepts of availability zones and regions. Availability zones protect against localized disasters such as floods, tornadoes and fires. They represent collections of infrastructure that are located in close proximity, typically within 30 miles, and are interconnected by high bandwidth. Examples of availability zones include two distinct data centers within a metro boundary, or two isolated sectors within the same data center. Regions span longer distances and are interconnected by low bandwidth. Spanning the software-defined data center across regions protects against large-scale disasters such as tsunamis, hurricanes, and earthquakes. Examples of regions include separate data centers in Northern and Southern California, or separate data centers on the West and East Coasts of the United States. The VMware validated design for software-defined data center supports a dual region layout, with each region being comprised of a single availability zone. In this design, two data centers are deployed in separate regions. One region is designated as the primary, and the second as the recovery region. Each region actively runs the business workloads. Each region is deployed with a management and a shared edge and compute pod. Compute pods can be expanded or added to support additional business workloads. Region-specific instances of vCenter Server, Platform Services Controllers, NSX Managers, and vRealize Log Insight are also deployed and integrated between regions. In the primary region, the vRealize operations, vRealize automation, and vRealize business for cloud components are deployed and configured to failover to the recovery region. To support failover, vSphere replication is utilized at both regions and used to replicate the virtual machines between regions. In addition, VMware Site Recovery Manager is also deployed and recovery policies created to automate the failover and recovery of these solutions. In the event of a disaster affecting the primary region, vRealize operations, vRealize automation, and vRealize business for cloud are brought online in the recovery region. Once recovered, these solutions resume normal operations. Following the recovery, any business workloads affected by the disaster can optionally be recovered in the same way, or depending on the application, be redeployed in the recovery region in order to ensure business continuance. To facilitate virtual machine failover between regions, the replicated virtual machines are deployed on a virtual network connected to an NSX Universal Distributed Logical Router in a construct referred to as an Application Virtual Network. Application Virtual Networks eliminate the need to change IP addresses during failover to the recovery region. At the recovery region, the same distributed virtual network exists and the application runs unaltered from the primary region. Business continuity and disaster recovery are essential for the modern data center. The dual region model of the VMware validated design for software-defined data center extends the SDDC across geographic regions. This protects against catastrophic events and ensures that IT delivers the availability and resiliency required to support the most critical applications and workloads. To learn more about VMware validated designs, visit vmware.com go vvd.